Charlie Chaplin is known to be one of the most influential and successful filmmakers of all time. Born with an immense talent for entertainment, Chaplin created the most iconic silent films and the childlike though kind-hearted character, The Tramp. He grew up with both parents performing as singers and actors, though the beginnings of his life were nowhere close to a privileged lifestyle. Chaplin's father became a heavy drinker and abandoned his family. During a musical performance, Charlie's mother, Hannah, lost her voice and pushed her son to sing on stage, introducing his exposure to the entertainment world. Hannah's voice loss turned out to be permanent, forcing Charlie and his brother Sidney to work in London's labor houses. After playing the page boy Billy in the legitimate Sherlock Holmes stage show, Chaplin made his debut as a member of a juvenile group called the Eight Lancashire Lats and became popular as a tap dancer. He then became a comedian in vaudeville and, in 1910, moved to the U.S. with the Fred Carnot Repertoire Company. Chaplin was later offered a motion picture contract with Keystone Film Company. As it became more popular, Chaplin joined the SNA Company and then jumped onto the Mutual Film Corporation to make numerous comedies, including The Floor Walker, The Fireman, and The Immigrant. After working for an abundance of film companies, Chaplin created his own studio in Hollywood on La Brea Avenue. In 1921, he made arguably his best film, The Kid, starring himself and a famous child actor, Jackie Coogan. The introduction to the work, a picture with a smile and perhaps a tear, greatly embodies the film's story. Full of love and laughter, the kid explores the relationship between an orphan found on the streets as a baby and the tramp, who selflessly takes the child under his wings to raise it. They overcome obstacles involving the police to obtain their small and close-knit relationship, showing that family isn't always by blood, but by trust and compassion. After releasing the idol class the same year, Chaplin took a long vacation in Europe, where he was exposed to the giant mass of audiences his films had reached. When he returned to Hollywood, Charlie Chaplin made eight feature films under United Artists, which also consisted of famous entertainers like Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks, and D.W. Griffith. They made films like The Gold Rush, The Circus, City Lights, Modern Times Soldiers, don't fight the for great slavery, dictator. fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness, you the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure, then in the name of democracy, let us use that power, let us all unite, let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie, they do not fulfill that promise, they never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason, a world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!
limelight was made the year Chaplin moved back to Europe permanently. He was used to high production films with expensive studios, but was forced to work in smaller rental studios in London after his exile. Limelight is considered to be semi-autobiographical, stating the lost art of stage performance. He was around 70 years old when it was released, so his last few films were with more meaning thanks to audio technology and his increased experience. It was also the only full film score he composed. A King in New York was his last great masterpiece before his death in Switzerland in 1977. It addressed the narrow-mindedness of society and the chaotic fear of communism. His son Michael Chaplin played the co-leading role, much like Jackie Coogan in The Kid. The film story was set in New York, though much of the movie was shot in the streets of London. Because Charlie Chaplin was past his years of falling and running, this story, much like Limelight, was slightly more serious, though still comedic and lighthearted. It was a good end to such an historic era for film.